Hello everyone. Now, are you a Pro Tools user? If you are, you have probably frustratingly fallen down the same hole that I have, which has been trying to fix oversized GUIs of certain plugins. Acoustical audio, especially some of the channel strips, can be oversized. I found bias effects, bias amp, and I've also got even the, the access analog, analog matrix. Um, actually, you find that the bottom half of the plugins are all cut off. And no matter what you do in terms of screen resolution, in terms of trying to fix settings in Pro Tools, it doesn't matter what you do, you can't fix it. Now, what if I was to tell you that genuinely, in one plugin, you can fix all? Keep this really, really simple. It's probably the shortest video I've ever done, because it's that simple, and it annoys me how simple it is. Now, um, I'll show you kind of some examples here, okay? So this is some of the plugins that I stopped using because I couldn't fix the GUI, and some of the things are very important, especially the compressors. Again, you've got Cream, you've got Coffee from Acoustical Audio, you've got Amber as well, um, and again, you've also got Access Analog, and um, even Bias Effects and stuff. I did everything to try and fix it, everything. I went online, tried to change screen resolutions, it was a Pro Tools thing. Now, if you have DDMF Meta plugin, if you don't have it, it's like 35 quid or something, okay? There's loads of videos that I've done today. Um, I say loads, two. <laughs> I've done two extra videos. You can and use it to internally oversample, and it can also load VST plugins into Pro Tools as well, which is very, very, very handy. Now, the great thing about Meta plugin is when you drag a VST plugin in, guess what? The GUI is bloody fixed. <laughs> I've had Meta plugin for five or six years. I have stopped using certain plugins because of the oversized GUI. All I had to do was install the VST, load it into Meta plugin, and guess what? The GUI is perfect. It's obviously an AAX thing, and I don't know why that is. So genuinely, guys, that is it, right? Don't bother trying to like fucking fix screen resolutions and try and get new monitors and stuff, right? Genuinely, just buy Meta plugin for thirty-five quid if it annoys you that much. And there's quite a lot of plugins that are oversized. And you will genuinely find, if you drag it in, voila, okay, problem fixed. Avid, you've got to get that fixed. You really have got to get that fixed. I shouldn't have to pay 35 quid for a plugin just to resize it, right? It's really, really annoying. Avid, it's your fault, and it's, uh, it just shouldn't happen. So, guys, it's as simple as that. Meta plugin, load VSTs, int it from there, GUI fixed. That's been me. If you've liked this video, please like, consider subscribing. There's an entire playlist, plug-in shootouts, everything, everything. I've got audio geekness up to the brim, okay? So, please like this video, consider subscribing. I'm nearly at 2,000 subscribers, and I want to get to 2,000 subscribers before my first year, which is in the middle of March. So please, subscribe, help me out, and uh, hopefully I will see you again next week on Mixing Wednesday.